Hello YouTube, uh, we've got the Triumph guy here. I'm going to talk to you quickly about a problem I've had. Um, a really weak idle and then the, the vehicle dies, can be quite dangerous at junctions. And what I found is I'd have to take the um, car out of gear, apply the handbrake, rev it up and then uh, place it back into uh, first gear so I could go. So in this video I thought I'd just um, check the air filters, ensure that they're not blocked up and adjust the carburetors. So I've got twin SU carbs here. And what you'll need is a half inch spanner, a 7 16th spanner, a flathead screwdriver, and a um, synchrometer, okay? All really inexpensive. As you can see, I've followed the um, Haynes manual here at page 71, and that will give you SU carburetors adjustment and tuning. It's quite important uh, that you do even follow this for the video. So firstly, we're gonna use our half inch to remove the air box itself, okay? four uh, bolts and I'm also going to show you uh, some of the screws we will be adjusting in this um, video so here's one for this carburetor and on the inside this one there's a, another screw here coming underneath we'll then adjust the um, fuel mixture using these uh, bolts here I think these are five eighths but it will come out later on in the video what size they are and uh, yeah. So using the half inch, we're now gonna remove the air box itself, okay? If you've got k and air filters, obviously you'll remove them differently, but this is how you remove them, okay? So undo the bolts and then unplug these. And obviously I was trying to film whilst doing this. Just be careful of your brake lines and anything else, but they should come out, okay? I've got two gaskets. One on each side, and then you use the 7 16 to undo this bolt here. As you can see, I tried to use a half inch on it originally. Check the seal around is um, hasn't perished, and you're also going to check your air filters. Okay, mine aren't in bad condition, they're not ideal. Unfortunately, I looked at my spare ones and they are wrong. So, ensure that your Phillips screwdriver wrong, your flathead screwdriver uh, fits in these before you start because when you do start it's going to be uh the engine's going to be running it's just better to make sure you've got all the tools ensure that your five eighths uh, fits the bottom to adjust the mixture don't turn anything at this point just ensure that it all fits before you fire it up so you're going to do the test to make sure they go down and you're going to fire up the car to a thousand reps okay and use a synchro meter like so to ensure that they're at the same number okay i went for five on each if they're not, you're just going to try and adjust the screw. The key to balancing carbs is you have to, have to do small adjustments, okay? What I did, I can't show it in the video because I was filming at the same time, place the screwdriver on whilst, um, whilst you uh, doing it, okay? And then make sure they're both fired. Now, as you can see, that there is a slight colour to the exhaust, okay? And the Haynes manual states that you really you want a colourless um, exhaust mixture. So keeping it a thousand, okay? And now can you see that it's colourless, okay? So what you do is use the 5 eighths to turn the mixture ever so slightly. And then you double check the synchro meter, okay? Still at 5 before you place the um, air box on, okay? Place the air box on. And this is how you, you're going to do it. So ensure that the gaskets are in the right place on the inside. And that they're seated inside the air box. And then use your finger to align them. Now what you're going to need to do is, can you see that they're slightly disaligned, you put the bolts in, like so, to hopefully align the air filter. Then you ensure that the gaskets are placed correctly and the bolts are protruding, and then you're going to place on and hand tighten them slightly, okay? Then you're going to use your um, spanner to tighten them up, or ratchet, ratchet would be better. As you can see, the pipe's only going one way. This is me trying to get it on, but no. It's, so turn it back around and then give it another go. Insert both pipes. As you can see now, it's set at the correct RPM, which is 750, okay? The choke is in at this point. Yeah, and before, I'd have to either apply choke or rev it. So as you can see, it's really, really helped. Clear exhaust. And yeah, living the dream. If you find this, um, video helpful then please like and subscribe it really helps and drop us a comment if you have any issues.